welcome again. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to rename, change the date, and talk about visibility. Now, the first thing that I want to talk about is rename. What is great about Photoshop Elements is the ability to rename many or maybe one photo quickly. When you use the rename function within PSE, you don't have to worry about the extensions or worry about naming similar photos one, two, three, because PSE will auto resolve it. So for example, I have three photos of trees I took while I was in Boston, but I want to change all three photos at once and name them such as Boston Plants. So what I would do is select the first one. I could shift click and select the last one that would select them all, or I can shift click each one and then go to File, Rename, and change it to Boston Plants. So I'm going to say B-O-S-T-O-N underscore plants. Click OK. And instantly it renames it to Boston Plants. And if you notice, it renames it to Boston Plants hyphen 1, hyphen 2, and hyphen 3. So you don't even need to pr uh, provide the 1, 2, or 3. It does it automatically. So can you imagine about being able to rename 100 photos from Christmas or a wedding? And you can do it that fast. I love it. Now what I've noticed about these three photos that we've called Boston Plants is that they're dated June 30th and I know that I took these in the springtime so how can I change it to the right time? Well first I would select the photos. I can shift click each one or if I wanted to I can select the first one, shift click the last one and I'll select all three. Then go to edit adjust date and time of selected items or control J and it says change to a specific date and time change to match files date and time or shift to a new starting date and time or shift by a set number of hours I'm going to choose change to a specific date and time we'll keep it at the year 2010 we'll change it to April first. So let me move this slider up here to April 1. The time, I'll say unknown because I don't know what time it really was. Obviously it was during the day, but to be specific it really doesn't matter. Click OK. Now as you can see, the date and the name of these three photos have been changed within Photoshop Elements and quickly. This is why we must do everything within Photoshop Elements to make sure everything is updated appropriately. Now looking at these photos I would like to keep the Miami Beach, the one-way sign, and the artwork but I would like to hide, hide the plants or trees from view since I don't consider them great shots. I don't want to lose them but I just want to hide them for now. Well Photoshop Elements has a visibility command that will hide the photos from view until you unhide them. You could even show only the hidden photos so let's select the three plant photos as they are already selected. Go to Edit, Visibility, excuse me, and mark as hidden. And now they're gone. But they're not really gone. They're just hidden from view. To see them again, you will go up to the Edit menu, go back to Visibility, and show only hidden files. Now we only see the hidden files within Chapter 1, as indicated also by this, I call it the sleepy eye looking icon, as you can see here. Now if we go back up to Edit, Visibility, Show All Files, this will show all the files and the hidden files at the same time. Excuse me, and remember to hide the hidden photos, you just go to Edit, Visibility, and hide hidden photos, uh, hidden files. Now if at a later point I changed my mind and I didn't want those hidden and I really did like them, well we have to go back up to edit, visibility, show all files, select the three photos that are hidden, edit, visibility, mark as visible, it removes the eye icon and now we have all our pictures again or photos.
In the next lesson, we're going to talk about moving and stacking photos and why it's extremely important.